what is NLP really about, and you start looking at the literature, you'll find that the co-developers talked about it's the study of the structure of subjective experience. That is, how we do what we do inside here. It's subjectivity, it's consciousness. And when you look at, well, how could that work, or how can that make a difference in life, one way of thinking of it goes like this. You produce results in your life, your life as it exists, all the you know, friends, family, loved ones, colleagues, career, all the different aspects of your life, love it or hate it, you, you produce those results. And when you ask, well, if you wanted to change a result in any area, because most of your life, I'm assuming, is hunky-dory, leave it alone, don't mess with it, but stuff comes up in different areas where you go, oh, I don't like this, it's time to do something about it, then doing something different is the only way to produce a different result. So far, so simple, yeah? But then you go, well, how do you get to do something different? Most obviously, you think a different thought. You know, I've tried this, let's try this approach. But then there's a lot more to it than that. We're most conscious of what we think and what we do. And most people go, yeah, makes sense to me. What we tend to be less conscious of in our culture is that everything we do, in a sense, is driven by feelings. We're either motivated towards or away from. And that word emotion, you know, it's got motion in it. It's about movement. So, in a sense, our feelings, and especially the ones we're less conscious of, are, are key drivers, but also your reality, the world you live in, your version of reality, your personal worldview, your model of the world, as they call it in NLP, that's made up of a bunch of belief systems, and a lot of those are not in conscious awareness. Some of them are, and that's great, they're easy to change. It's the beliefs that sit in the background that can get very interesting. So sometimes you can just change your surface behaviour and what you think and get a different result. Sometimes it actually means increasing awareness of what's driving you in terms of feelings or belief systems to do or not do certain things. And NLP is great for skills in all of those areas. Now, the last thing I'd say around this is for those of you that are interested in the, the correct words. NLP is a, is a kind of applied psychology that's based on what's called radical constructivism, and it simply means that reality is constructed. We make it up. But we really, really make it up in this sense that you're listening to me at the moment, and you kind of think you're seeing and hearing me direct in real time, and you are except that your real time is running, and mine too, runs a bit under half a second behind real, real time, because that's how long it takes your eyes and ears to take in the sensory-based input, do a lot of very fancy parallel processing in here, and come back out so that you see and hear me, apparently in real time, but actually delayed by a fraction of a second. Does that make sense? And, and that's hard neuroscience, it's not psychobabbly stuff, that, that is the actuality of what we do. And NLP is about how we construct our reality and depending on how we do that, how we create results.